Hey guys, welcome to Oda class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're going to talk about how to solve Diophantine equation. Now this particular segment which I have made, this particular video which I have made, I have kept one thing in mind is your NTSC exam. In NTSC exam, you'll get a one standard kind of equation which you might not know that it is called Diophantine equation and you might have actually come across those kind of equation as well but you must be wondering how to solve that particular equation. So here in this video, I'll be teaching you how to solve a particular kind of Diophantine equation of this type okay now let's begin with first what is Diophantine equation so when I talk about Diophantine equation guys it is the equation which deals with integral solution of polynomials now those polynomials can be of one degree two degree can be of one uh, unknown or two unknown or three variable depending on the kind of Diophantine equation you're dealing with. So here I have selected a particular type and this particular type is you will have the equation as AXY plus BX plus CY equal to D and you have to find out integral values of X and Y. So find integral values of X and Y. This is the type okay integral values of X and why now idea behind this is you have to actually factorize this whole expression here a b c d we are taking as integers so we want to factorize this thing now you must be wondering how you're gonna do that let me show you actually so what you're gonna do first you're gonna multiply by a so if you multiply by a this whole equation will become a square x y plus a b x plus a c y is equal to AD. Now once you have done that you add BC both side in LHS and RHS. So add BC B into C in LHS and RHS. So once you do that you will get A square XY plus ABX plus ACY plus BC and this side also you'll get AD plus BC. Now this whole expression will get factorized. Let me show you. So what you can do, you can take AX common and when you take AX common, what are you left with? You're left with AY plus B. Similarly, you can take C common and you'll be left with AY plus B. When you do this, this whole thing will become AX plus C into ay plus b is equal to ad plus bc now you have factor or two terms which are multiplied and that's equal to another number so you can work on the integral solution of x and y and this is how you solve this particular type of Diophantine equation now I'm going to show you two examples based on this particular type and you will have a better understanding of the solution of this particular type of Diophantine equation so the first example that I have selected is again dealing with integral solution and this is where you're going to understand that the kind of equation you're dealing with might be Diophantine equation. So the question is find number of integral solutions of the equation 4xy minus 12x plus 3y. Okay, so let me rewrite it. And this is pretty basic actually 4xy minus 12x plus 3y equal to 0, right? So there are two ways to do this. One is the standard way which I showed you just now. That is first you multiply by A. So A over here is 4. So if you multiply by A, you will get 16xy minus 48x plus 12y equal to 0. Now once you have done that, then you add BC. So what is B value? Let me write that. B is nothing but minus 12 and C is nothing but 3. So BC will be minus 36. So you add BC both sides. So when you do that, you get 16xy minus 48x plus 12i minus 36 this side and minus 36 that side. Now the from first two term, you can clearly take 16x common. When you do so, you get y minus 3. Similarly, from the second two term, you can take 12 common and you get y minus 3. And this becomes minus 36. So if you take y minus 3 common from the whole, this whole thing will become 4 times 3x plus 3, in fact 4x plus 3 into y minus 3 
equal to minus 36 or you can say you will get 4x plus 3 into y minus 3 is equal to minus 9 right now you have minus 9 represented as two multiplication and in fact these two will be integer because we are looking for integral solution that means this is one integer and this is one integer so now you know how to work on x and 4x plus 3 and y minus 3 value right so what are you gonna do minus 9 can be split it in multiple ways what are those ways let me write it so 4x plus 3 and then y minus 3 then I can work on x and y so 4x plus 3 if I take that as 1 then minus 9 clearly will be sorry y minus 3 will be clearly minus 9 because 1 into minus 9 is equal to minus 9 and hence x value guys will become fractional over here because if you take 4x plus 3 as 1 x will come out to be minus half and y will come out to be minus 6 and this solution will not be taken why will it not be taken because we are looking for integral solutions of x and y similarly if I take 4x plus 3 as minus 1 then then y minus 3 will be 9 and hence x value will become minus 1 and y y value will become 12 and this is taken another set of multiplication is possible that is I can take 4x plus 3 as 3 and y minus 3 as minus 3 and in this case x will be 0 and y will be 0 which satisfies the equation clearly and the final set which I can take is 4x plus 3 as minus 3 and y minus 3 as 3 and in this case again x is coming to, coming out to be fractional which is nothing but minus 3 by 2 and y will be actually minus 6 in fact plus 6 but this will also be not taken because minus minus 3 by 2 is fractional. So what are the integral solutions we are getting over here? Minus 1 comma 12 and 0 comma 2. So these are the two integral solution for this particular Diophantine equation. Now I'm going to show you one more example which is little bit more complex. Okay, let's see the other example guys. So the other question that I have selected is the proper Diophantine equation which is axy plus bx plus cy, cy equal to d type. Okay, so let me read the question. Find the number of integral solution of the equation xy minus 6x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. So let me write the equation xy minus 6x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. And we're going to do the same thing. First, let's find out what are A, B, C. So A value is 1, B value is minus 6, and C value is nothing but 3. So what is B, C? B, C is nothing but minus 18. So what we're going to do? We're going to multiply by A. But if you multiply by A, when A itself is 1, nothing will happen. So the equation will still be xy minus 6x plus 3y is equal to minus 4 and the second step I have told you is nothing but you add BC both sides so when you do so you get XY minus 6x plus 3y minus 18 is equal to minus 4 minus 18 now from these two you can clearly take X common and will you'll be left with Y minus 6 and from these two you can take again 3 common and you'll be having Y minus 6 again and this will become minus 28 22 sorry and if you factorize the whole thing you get x plus 3 which are which is a nice factor y minus 6 is equal to minus 22 and you're going to do the same thing again that is you're going to talk about all set of values which will satisfy this equation wherein x and y are in teaser so what i can do minus 22 i can factorize in multiple ways one is minus 1 22 then 1 and minus 22 2 minus 11 and minus 2 and 11 so let me do that so you'll get x plus 3 y minus 6 and then x value and then y value so if i take x plus 3 as 1 y minus 6 will be minus 22 and from here x value will be minus 2 and y value will be nothing but minus 16. similarly if i take x plus 3 as minus 1 and y minus 6 as 22 x value this time will be minus 4 okay and y value will be 28. if i take x plus 3 as 2 y minus 6 will be minus 11 so x value will be minus 1 and y value is minus 5 and the last pair which will satisfy is nothing but x plus 3 as minus 2 y minus 6 as 11 and hence x value will be minus 5 and y value will be 17. So for this particular Diophantine equation there will be four integral solutions which are possible. 
So did you guys understand the solution of this particular type of Diophantine equation? If you have, do like this video. Do subscribe to ODA class for more such videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.